Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, I have quite the topic for you guys today. I am going to be putting on the table two of the guns in Apex Legends that are very, very similar um, with aspects. So I'm going to be taking a look at which one is better, the G7 Scout or the 3030 Repeater. Let's get into this. So let's start off with the G7. The G7 has a TTK of 1.8 seconds, compared to the 3030 with 2.27 seconds. Both of these guns are good at what they can do, and they certainly have some different pros and cons in different aspects of the gun. The G7 Scout might be better close range because of its faster fire rate, and of course its better tracking ability because the bullets come out of the barrel a lot faster than the 3030 does. You can fire a bullet out of the 3030 every 0.25 seconds ish, which for time to give players moving around and jumping and strafing. Um, closer range is not going to be the best strong suit for the 3030. But medium to long range, I find these guns to be a lot more effective. But it all depends on what site you run. So let's talk about that. Now, running a one times on the repeater is kind of like running a one times on the G7 Scout. It's kind of meant for closer ranges, and if you use it at medium range, you're not going to be as accurate with it, uh, obviously speaking, because of the closer range site. The two times is pretty good on the repeater because it gives you that capability of doing it sort of closer range and of course with the medium range option out there as well. Same thing for the G7. I personally really like a two times on the G7. Now a three times is where stats start to vary. Now with the zoomed in sight on the repeater, you're going to be wanting to be at a longer range than closer range, obviously. But with the G7 and its faster fire rate, you can probably get up to medium range while people are once again jumping around, strafing, doing whatever. The tracking speed of the 3030 is really going to put you at a downfall in a gunfight versus a G7 because the bullet doesn't come out as fast as the G7s does. So you're going to have to use these guns wisely and be careful about your range decisions and uh, how you shoot. Now both of these guns may not have a 6x or a 4 8 or a 4 10 but it can have a 2 4 And obviously a 2 4 I would use for long range and long range only because it's a scope and you're not going to be, you know, aiming faster than you would with a two times or so. So with that being said, there is also very similar factors in bullet drop for both of these guns. Now for the repeater, the bullet drop will be uh, a little, little teeny bit lower than the G7. As you see, if I may aim the little uh, line there, the middle one on the scope, uh, to the middle of the target there it will tend to hit but not always if i go just below it it won't hit but for the g7 if i do the exact same as you see uh the middle will hit but also right below it will hit for longer range engagements i would even give this to the g7 as well because of its lower bullet drop rate than the 3030, this will go a longer way before dropping compared to the 3030, which is what I like about the G7. Now let's talk about hip fire. These are also very similar um, with both of these guns. Let's so I will stand way. 10 meters away from the target for both of these. I will aim to the head, the body, and then the leg, and we'll see which one can do better. As for the G7, now at a bit longer for 20 meters, as for the repeater, I was trying to aim for the head. And we already hit a body shot and then the leg shot. So with the repeater, it's not a constant pattern as the G7 might be, but at longer ranges, I would give it to the repeater because it can have a little bit less of a spread when it comes to the longer range. Um, it's 
For fuck's sakes, man. Why do I have an alarm for 8 fucking 30? What the fuck? The repeater tends to have a little bit of a tighter spread than the G7 does, and you can find yourself hitting more shots if you aim correctly at the target. Now, hip firing from 20 meters away isn't always going to be the best option for neither of these guns. So let's try five meters. So we're going to do the same test as we did before. As for the repeater. We should go this way. Seven meters. <laughs> As for the G7. So we have our first miss at the head for the G7. So this does prove that the repeater is a little bit better as you move on in ranges for hip fire. Hip firing is never a good idea for these guns because they are DMRs or uh, marksman rifles, whatever. Um, so I wouldn't hip fire with them, but if it comes down to it, um, I will give hip firing to the G7, especially uh, for closer range because you have the fire rate advantage on your side and you can choose where you want to shoot and you have a wider range rather than the repeater because you're following your target with every bullet that's coming out um, faster in the G7 so you have a more likely chance to hit your target than you do with the 3030. So the hip fire is gonna go to the G7 but the 3030 does have a better longer range hip fire rate than the G7 does. Now of course we're gonna talk about mag size. Mag size is always always important when it comes to marksman rifles or snipers like this because you always want to have a lot of ammo if you're trying to pick off at people from afar or a medium range. So with the repeater it gives you an extra six bullets for a purple or gold mag. As for the G7 it gives you an extra ten bullets for a purple or gold light mag. So um, it would actually give you 10 more bullets for the G7 and 6 for the repeater, which is the stock magazine size for both of these guns. So you could say they double with their stock size. Now I haven't mentioned the charge up on the repeater yet, and I wanted to save this for later because I didn't want to add it to the TTK because it just makes it slower in general and it's not very necessary. But I will talk about the charge up now. The charge up to the body will do 57 damage instead of the 42. To the leg it will do 43 damage opposed to the 32. And to the head it will deal 100 damage um, with a fully charged shot compared to 74 without a charge. So you can see the damage difference within both of these guns. Um, the 3030 has a higher damage but a lower fire rate. And the G7 has lower damage, but a higher fire rate, making it a little bit better when it comes to TTK, as I mentioned earlier. I should also mention that the headshot multiplier isn't actually a 2 times multiplier. Um, it goes from 34 to 60 for the G7, and then it goes from 42 to 74 uh, for the repeater. So it's not 2 times the damage on them for headshots like some ARs. So, um, just keep that in mind. Now for the most important part, a one-on-one -on -one engagement. Now, I have no friends, so I can't actually demonstrate it with a live person. Um, but thinking technically here, the G7 with a faster fire rate, um, but of course the lower damage compared to the repeater on the opposing side with a charge, higher damage, but a lower fire rate, well, gunfights will vary, of course. Someone who's really good with the 3030 might destroy someone on the other end who might be really good with a G7 because it's all about your movement and your playstyle, jumping around, strafing, and crouching. Now, both of these come to play uh, very well with these guns because you're gonna have to be accurate with them. 
With the G7, you can spam spray a lot more than you can with the repeater, and that's why the repeater takes a lot more skill than the G7 does, especially if you want to utilize the charge that you have on the repeater against your target. Personally, I would not wait for a charge on someone who is already shooting at you in a gunfight anywhere from medium to close range because you're just giving away that much ammo on their mag into your body for the time that it takes for this to charge up just so you can do a little bit more damage to them when you shoot them. Only use this charge in longer range if you're trying to pick off at someone, especially if they're running on the jump tower or if they're not paying attention, looting. This is when you want to utilize the charge that is given on the 30-30 repeater. So with all the points that I have just dispersed and everything that I have talked about in this video, I would give the winner to the G7. Now, of course it's on personal preference, you may like the repeater better than you do for the G7, you may hate the repeater and love the G7. I personally do like the G7 a little bit better, just because it has more capability of uh, killing with fire rate, uh, more ammo, and it helps a lot, but I do really like the repeater. It's a really nice gun, and I'm glad they added it to this game just as another gun in the pool and uh, to balance out the meta a little bit more. And I really wanted to talk about this because the G7, the repeater, and the longbow are basically the closest in classes to each other. And the repeater is kind of in between the longbow and the G7. Tell me what you guys think about the repeater in the comments below. Tell me if I did a good job on making this. Do you agree with me? Let me know. Thank all of you for watching this video, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in another video. Peace out.